A new survey finds people who don't have college degrees have fewer close friends and a harder time making new friends. Here to discuss is a board certified counselor, Naya B. Naya, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. How are you? Doing well. So first, I just want to get your thoughts on this study. Uh, it's pretty discouraging. I mean, it finds that many people are dealing with loneliness, college degree or not, but particularly uh, people without a college degree. Uh, just talk about the importance of social connection in this apparently very lonely time. I think when you hear something like people with college degrees make more friends or are less lonely, I think what's missing is there's a community in college outside of learning in which people can actually get to know one another. There's groups, organizations that encourage the friendliness that encourage people to be less lonely. And it's a space where people can thrive. And I think sometimes people who do not necessarily uh, pursue their educational dreams or goals, they may find themselves just in a space of survival to where they're not necessarily interested in making friends or networking as much as they're interested in making sure they pay the bills, keep a roof over their head, make sure they get to and from safely. So it's just a difference in priorities. So when you're in a space to where you can thrive and you're around people constantly, it's much easier. But if you have have a choice or have an option, you find that most people are not jumping to make friends as much as we used to. Right. Especially, it seems it's a little bit harder the older you get. And, you know, certain people are in different phases of their life. It's not easy to make new friends, even if you are focused on it and you do want to. Uh, what advice would you give to someone who's having a hard time meeting new friends? Part of making good friends is recognizing your tribe. I think people have a hard time finding who they can match with the most and who they can share commonalities with. And I think Equally Yoked is bigger than just romantic couples. It's also about friendships. You want to have people in your life that match your lifestyle, that do the things that you do, that want to go to places that you go. So that way, it's not much of a disagreement, and it's really not a hard relationship. So I think that's the biggest challenge for most people. So you want to find people that you have things in common with. Don't try to get with people that you have to change or that doesn't have a same lifestyle as you. I find that sometimes married people do better with married friends. Single people do better with single friends. And it's not to say that married people and single people can't be friends, but they're going to be limited in how much they can interact and just how many things they're going to do that are similar. And I think over time, once you find that it's really about the market and less about maybe you, then it'll be easier. It'll be easier to meet people and do things. I think we internalize the loneliness and we think that we're not good enough and that's why we're alone. And it's really just the mindset that contributes to the loneliness. We all have someone for us. And I think that when we figure out who those people are and where to find them, we'll do much better and we'll experience less loneliness. Yeah, how does that usually play out when you have clients talking to you about feeling lonely? What typically goes through someone's head when they're struggling to make friends or just feel like they can't? Sometimes people think that they're not likable. Uh, sometimes they think that they're not relatable and that they uh, don't know how to fit in and they are concerned about saying the wrong thing, concerned about doing the wrong thing. Um, and a lot of times I tell them it's really about just outgrowing certain people, places and things. We do outgrow people. And I think as we elevate, whether it's going away to college or getting into our career or having a family or having children or getting married or even getting into a relationship, we are going to gravitate and evolve in a space that someone who's not doing those things are going to. And I think sometimes we take it personal. And when it's not personal, it's just life. You know, we evolve, we change, and you just have to find a different group. People are anxious about finding new friends because they are they don't want to start over or they think they're going to be judged or they don't trust. Trust is a big factor in meeting new people. You want to make sure you're not going to be scammed. You want to make sure you're around people um, who are not going to hurt you or keep you safe. So that plays a huge part too. And if we're talking culture, it's easier in some cultures than others. And I think that plays a huge factor in why people are not so apt to jumping out there and making friends. Yeah. Any advice to just mentally prepare someone when they're trying to put themselves out there and put themselves in a position to attract more friends? What should they be doing mentally? I think it's important to be a friend to yourself before you can decide to be a friend to someone else. A lot of times we are not friendly to ourselves. We don't say nice things to ourselves. We don't take ourselves out. We're not alone with ourselves. So imagine if you can't be alone with yourself, how do you imagine someone else is going to be alone with you? Part of having a friend is getting to know you and getting to know what type of friend you should be looking for based on who you are. And most people don't really know who they are. They're too busy being who other people want them to be. And that, in fact, friendship 
a, a big deal. So when you're not knowing who you are, you're looking for other people to show you who you are. And then you're going to end up seeming fake or seeming not gen genuine. So that plays a huge part. So I would suggest get to know yourself, spend some time with yourself, uh, be your own best friend first before you can be someone else's friend. And invite people, accept invites. I, saw, I see a lot of people say, I don't have friends, but won't accept an invite anywhere or won't invite anyone anywhere. So you have to be inviting, you have to be welcoming, and you have to be you know, receptive to someone being that way to you. All right, Naya B, dropping gems tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me.